Ah, and just like Peace Walker, <laughs> we, it is divided into chapters. And we're getting right to the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that, you know, you called it. There is a montage. Nice. Da, 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 da. I forget the name of the guy at the moment. Um, but this montage was worked on by the same guy who did the incredible uh, snake eater opening. Um, I was bummed because I, I heard in advance like, oh, he's doing another opening just like the one he did for MGS3. And I was but I was like, oh, it's just like a little montage. It's a lot more subdued. Mm -hmm. uh, although it does have some of the uh, main theme in it as snake eaters did. So it's a good theme. There we go. Where where is your pinky, boss? Is the pinky not a tactical necessity? So, I've always been puzzled by that scene. Yet yeah, he's wearing an arm. The arm is appears to be yellow in color, and yeah, it was missing a pinky. But next cut scene, he has the pinky. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if it's just a weird, like, whoop, forgot to put in the one that has the pinky <laughs> or what, but, and also his arm is red, not yellow. Uh, that could maybe just have been a tint of the montage or something, but either way, he gets a pinky. Uh, also, there are cassette tapes, just like Peace Walker. That's where the meaty conversations are. Also an emblem piece. Mm. We're going to make an emblem later. It's going to be dope. Nice. Almost hit the rock. Watch out, cameraman. <laughs> he's so low to the ground, it's like he's on a little dolly on his back. Lying on his back on a sled being dragged by another horse. <laughs> Not much time left. Weather will clear shortly. Storm oh, 1984 is dope. Yeah, right? Yeah, rider stride a pale white horse. Yeah, we get it. We get it. All right, fine. <laughs> Starring. Yeah, yeah, every mission. This this game presents every mission as this, as if it is an episode of a TV show. So you get credits for who stars in it. Wow. How did they get Revolver Shalashaska Ocelot? Whoa. Wow. How much did that cost them? You might you notice sometimes in these episodes, some credits, guest starring, I censored it. Because every mission spoils like what will who will be in the mission, even if it's like supposed to be a surprise. Mm -hmm. So for the benefit of people watching, I will s censor things where it's like, here's this big fucking character out of nowhere, and she's like, oh, he's in here. Okay. After nine years on ice, the solo infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces. Also, product placement. <laughs> you could buy one. these glasses for a little bit. <laughs> nice. And we're off. Kazuhira Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your iDroid. So, yes, 1984, Big Boss has an iDroid, a holographic PDA. You see Wandy on the map? That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is, we don't know his exact location. Finding it is your first priority. So yeah, this is an open world stealth game, so there's a ton of new shit to cover. Your binoculars? Or should I say, your int scope? See the village? Straight ahead? Alright, that's the village. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell so you yeah, on top I of the cassette about. tapes, there is kind of a codec. If you're looking at something and there's on the upper left, it says Intel, you can press the button and uh. your support staff will say stuff. That's Vialo Village, the Vialo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviet's 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through there en route towards Dewan Dehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where it is. 
Good. Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along the way. A kilometer from here. <laughs> you can't have much left in him. I give him three days, tops. If we fail, and he dies, we lose our chance of revenge. But we need more intel. If you just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can yeah, find but out come on. He's big boss. <laughs> he can handle other that. Outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. An open world, you might say. Let me gesture to some of it. With those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it. That's Afghanistan That's over there. Me. Still Afghanistan. Here on it's, out, it's real big. You're on your own. I'm gonna turn around in 180 degrees. Look, still Afghanistan. <laughs> You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you, and return as big boss. That's how Koss would want it. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. And they were good. Were they? We Was it the Muskrat? Because he sucked. <laughs> and these. I still remember the names of my soldiers. They'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. Kaz's glasses. You could buy them. <laughs> now go! Let the legend come back to life. Into the game, but if we listen closely... Whoop. He's gone! Wow, he's very, very good at horsing. If, if you heard that helicopter noise, that was Ocelot Fultoning himself and his horse. <laughs> and while most people would just go straight to that objective point right away, uh... A lot of people completely missed. There's a little like tutorial playground behind you. Oh. I mean, that might be because it's behind you. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, cover. You just walk into a thing and you take cover. It's got all the normal, you know, stuff you can do in cover shooting. Uh, you can still vault over stuff, but it's better now because uh, you can hold down the vault button and automatically do it and also platform between stuff. Nice. Big Boss finally knows how to jump. Uh, it's great. It, it lets you do a lot more cool stuff than you could in previous games. And up here a little bit, uh, there's lots of stuff you can like collect mm -hmm. now, including these flowers. Oh my goodness. Have you become a botanist? It's Big Boss's new hobby. Big botany. Even the sheerest cliffs are climbable if there are cracks you can use as handholds. You might even find some unexpected routes that way. Keep an eye out for cracks on your travels. A, a crack led us to safety in the last mission. That's a type of medicinal plant. Bring it back to base. It's sure to be useful sometime. I read from somewhere on the internet that apparently Big Boss's form for climbing rocks is actually pretty good. I have no idea, <laughs> but there's also diamonds everywhere. This is a apparently small rough diamond. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But yeah, you can you can pick these up and they just get you money or uh, GMP rather. That's a rough diamond. Good find. Good that diamonds diamond. had a bad day. <laughs> Also, you can dive off surfaces and just land perfectly fine. That the dive is really good. And before we set off on the horse, we'll take a look at the the stuff we got. Alrighty. Uh, so we got just Gun. normal assault rifle. Sure. Yep. Uh, you can only hold one assault rifle and then either one sniper rifle or rocket launcher in the other slot. Um, so you can hold a lot less weapons than you could in the past. You can mm -hmm. toggle all the parts on it, like suppressors on and off. Um, we got our Trank Pistol, as always. I'll get into how that works later, but they finally made the Trank Pistol, like, balanced in some way. Hooray. <laughs> uh, 
uh, support items. Uh, we have hand grenades and empty magazines, which are now infinite. You can just—you don't even need to reload a gun to get an empty magazine. I thought this was the most realistic Metal Gear <laughs> game. Mm hmm. Um, you can pitch them pretty far, um, but because this is an open world game, you can do missions a lot of different ways. So, in big missions like this, not all missions, we'll actually be showing. Multiple approaches with different types of snakes. Whoa! They're all color coded for your convenience. First, uh, we'll do. We'll start off with Big Boss. Uh, the Big Boss playthroughs. Uh, he's generally pretty stealthy. He likes to CQC a lot. Mm -hmm. um, he does a lot of reconnaissance, I suppose. So uh, for Big Boss, we'll just go straight ahead to this village that apparently has info, maybe, on where Miller is being held. What's that other waypoint? What's that 1.3 kilometers away thing? Oh, that one is the village where Miller's supposedly being held, uh, but we don't know okay. where inside of it. Yeah. So you could, in theory, go straight to it. Owen, there's a Soviet guard post. They're bound to be guards. Take a look with your binoculars. Put the enemy in the center of your field of view. Yeah, hide behind that horse. Or don't, whatever. Yep. But yeah, with uh, binoculars. That's marking. Focus on the thread and it'll be marked automatically. You can mark enemies and vehicles by zooming in with your binoculars or camera. Once they're marked, and maybe you pee on them a little bit. <laughs> that way everybody knows it's your target. Is relatively hmm. light. Looks like the perfect place for a warm up. Try to remember the ways you used to deal with enemies. Well, I used to hold them up with bananas. <laughs> remember the pornography, boss. <laughs> um, also, this binocular acts as the directional mic did in previous games, so oh. if you zoom in close to somebody, you can still hear them. The Soviet soldier. A lot of them came from Central Asia before, but lately they've been using more and more Russians. Simple, really. There's less hesitation to pull the trigger if they're not fighting their own race. Morbid cynicism, but it gets results. That's humanity for you. Uh, well, thanks, Ocelot. Have you heard that everybody's a little bit racist? Not again. Wait, I can't... God damn it, I did the hater impression. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> it doesn't work. He's Kiefer Sutherland. He just mumbles. Um, so yeah, when you're sneaking, it's a little bit more like MGS3, where even if you're, like, crouching behind a guy, he can hear you if you're going full speed. Mm -hmm. Um... That can change depending on the weather and other noises, though, but we point our gun at a guy, we can hold him up. Oh, I, th I thought that button was telling you to just give him a good slap. <laughs> yeah, we can press the left bumper to bring up all these different commands. We can ask him friends? where other people are. Boss, you don't understand what he said? Uh, I guess that makes sense. It looks like that uh, horn stuck in your head has impacted the language center <laughs> of your brain. If only we had a recruit with a Russian interpreter skill, we could get by with simultaneous interpretation. So yeah, Big Boss should know Russian. He's done it in the past. But nope, not anymore. And if we tried doing it one more time... Where are the others? Understanding a language and being able to interpret from that language for somebody else are two different things. Juggling languages at a rapid-fire pace is more difficult than you might think. So, uh, in other words, while I do speak Russian, don't expect me to do your interpreting. Thank you for explaining. Yeah. Or I suppose I should say shirking. <laughs> so there's some CQC, I guess. Don't leave bodies out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. Uh, there's a ton of new CQC stuff in this that will I'll just be slowly introducing, but that right there is, uh, if you just... If you're behind somebody and they don't know you're there, you can rapidly tap the button a whole bunch and you'll just do a, a big combo and just knock them out. And that specific form of QC, CQC knocks people out for far longer than any other. All right, now hit this man with that man. Yes. Yep. Guard post captured. I unlocked the word fat. <laughs> uh, that, that is for emblems. Every time you take over an outpost, a different outpost, you unlock new words for your emblems. Oh, I thought throwing a man at a man could make you fat. <laughs> also, I gotta press, bench press this dude a bit. I gotta get in shape. Um, 
And yeah, like Ocelot said, if you tag somebody, they'll be on the map as well. So those little blue triangles next to me uh, also indicate that they're knocked out or stunned in some way. Uh huh. Um, and yeah, now you can just fireman carry dudes. You don't have to drag them, so you can still sprint. You sprint a little bit slower when you're carrying somebody, mm -hmm, but it's still mm -hmm. pretty quick. A portable toilet. If you're gonna hide inside, watch the enemy doesn't decide to use it. Same goes for hiding downed enemies in it. Uh, the way toilets work in this game, if you if somebody gets knocked out, normally they'll wake up after a little bit. If somebody's knocked out and they're in a toilet, they never wake up. <laughs> <laughs> they never wake up. That's also true for Lollapalooza. Like, that's, <laughs> that's just a fact. <laughs> yeah, like when I threw that guy, that's just the CQC move you have when you're carrying somebody. You just chuck them. Uh, it's pretty good, actually. If you have guys close enough together, one thrown guy can knock out like five dudes. Nice. Those materials are already processed. They should come in handy sooner or later. Why not start gathering them? Also, uh, just knocking a guy out with a thrown by does not knock him out for very long. So he woke up very quick. So we'll just trank him this time. Uh, they instantly go to sleep, as always, if you shoot him in the face. And it's the perfect cover. He's just taking a nap. You are now more famous because you threw a man at this man, and then he woke up in bed all of a sudden, and you shot him in the <laughs> face. You are a little more famous for that. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, unlike all the other Metal Gears, if you tranked somebody, there would be a trank dart stuck in them, but that doesn't happen anymore, so I can't make, like, a weird Cenobite out of trank darts in their face. So much for the Fox engine. Yeah. They can't render all those darts. We can bring up that same menu we used to interrogate dudes to whistle for our horse. Sadly, you cannot interrogate your horse. <laughs> um, we'll get into it more later, but like, you know, I was looking at my horse when I whistled for him, and then he walked over to me. If you whistle for your horse and he's not visible in your camera, your horse will teleport to you instead. <gasps> Amazing. He's a magic a, horse. He's such, he's so good. He's a good horse. He's a real good horse. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Oh, those are those materials I picked up. There's... That's a whole other thing we'll get into later. Yeah. The boss, you're gonna want to have a, a crafting table in your keep. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? Uh, so there's also a large diamond here, which instead of 10,000 GMP is 100,000 GMP. diamond. Good find. It'll fetch a high price. Are these technically conflict diamonds? What are you doing? I mean, they're just out and about, but I don't know. In a conflict! Uh, like, in a conflict. And they are paying for a private yeah. army that destabilizes world peace. Yeah. So, there is a thing. Whoa. Yeah. So, while well, Big Boss just got to the, the top where he could survey that place, let's check out another one. Uh, we have Venom Snake. Uh, this snake is far more pissed off. <laughs> um, Venomous, you might say. Yeah, well, he will still sneak. Uh, if killing and murdering the shit out of people is easier, he will do that instead. Um, and also, on top of that, he will just be, if he's ever sneaking, he will take alternate routes from how Big Boss does stuff. So we've skipped uh, the, the outpost. Yeah. Entirely. Yeah, Venom Snake just goes around that outpost entirely. Venom Snake cannot be fat. Take no. All in. There should be a command post somewhere. See any buildings with tighter security? If there are clues to Miller's whereabouts, I'll bet you can find them in there. So yeah, one of the really cool things about this game is, you know, the surveying in this feels pretty useful. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, you can see that you can tag soldiers and you can see them through walls and stuff. If you're one of those people who's like super curious about that stuff and doesn't want to do that, they actually let you turn that stuff off. <laughs> um, I think marking is... Oh, also you can do the side roll like an MGS4. It's great. Um, but I think the, the marking is, I think, fairly necessary in this because, you know, mm -hmm. it's fairly easy to get caught in Metal Gear already. 
and those were small levels, and now you're in an open world map where there's hundreds of soldiers active yeah, at any yeah. point. So you, you need to have some kind of, you know, leniency. But yeah, we're, we're in this... We're in this village. Also, I'm... There's no way to make Ocelot shut the hell up. He always does it the first time he tags somebody. Whoops. Um, but, you know, we're in this, this village where there might be info about where Miller is. Um, but Venom... Venom Snake just spotted a truck. So, uh -huh. you know, maybe we don't need info? Maybe we just need a truck. <laughs> yeah, this, this outpost is pretty far away from, from other outposts. Um, any big outpost, at least, so this place is pretty... It's fairly lightly guarded. Um, there's only a couple dudes at most, and most of them are taking smoke breaks and not looking at things. Those Soviets. Oh, those Soviets. You have arrived at your Just wait till the Olympics this year, kids. Mm. <laughs> wait, what time of year is this? Yeah, they, they haven't happened yet. Okay, yeah, yeah just wait. Yep, yep. <laughs> Empty magazines are really good at distracting dudes. Uh, also, because the map is so much bigger than it has been in previous Metal Gears, uh, the guard's senses are actually... Uh, closer to being realistic than they have been in the past. Um, you can throw an empty magazine, and you can land pretty far away from them, and they will actually still hear it. Mm -hmm. um, they can also see a lot farther, um, but also their vision depends on a whole bunch of things that we'll get into. Um, but before we get to that truck, there's a big diamond over here, just chilling out. That's a rough diamond. Good find. Diamonds are not really, nice. like, one-time collectibles. So I won't be showing where they all are because they're all over the fucking place. Right, right. They're they're just like they they're resources that eventually respawn. So you can go to the same spots and eventually there will be more diamonds to pick up. That's also very accurate. The De Beers Corporation doesn't want you to know. Yeah, the diamonds are like fucking worthless, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not in an industrial sense. There, there's a lot yeah. of good applications. Um, yeah, we're we're not gonna take this truck. We're just gonna hang out in it, and eventually this dude taking a smoke break will, uh, you know, get in the truck, because bases will deliver supplies between each other, mm -hmm. so you can just hitch a ride in any truck, and they pretty much never check the beds of the trucks. <laughs> well, they're not expecting anybody to sneak yeah. in solo. Yeah, we'll just hitch a ride with this dude. Uh, there are also animals in this map, like sheep. Oh, adorable! They will try very hard to to not run over animals. Oh! Sometimes the animals really don't want to get out of the way. They'll spook them though. Yeah. Hey! Out of the way! But yeah, uh, Venom Stang is just gonna chill on this truck and just see where it takes him. Yeah. And uh, while he's doing that, we'll uh, go back and we'll we'll introduce the other third play style here. Yeah. Uh, he. Who's this green boy? Hmm. Green boy is gonna be Vapor Snake. Whoa. Uh, there's one other item we have right now that I hadn't pointed out yet. Uh. That is in the, the support items. So, you know, Big Boss is a big... He loves to smoke. He loves cigars. Well, he has a phantom cigar. <laughs> he only smokes ghosts. A, a cigar <laughs> blended with a medicinal plant that speeds up the perception of time. Whoa. Some will set shortly. You are... F <laughs> you've accessed Marlboro time. What <laughs> is this? So... The cigar can only, you know, you can only sm smoke the cigar for so long. It has a meter for how long you've been smoking it. But man, that that first cigar was so good. I think I'm gonna have another. <laughs> By the way, this is actually this is actually an electronic cigar, so he's actually vaping. That smoke is somehow holographic smoke. <laughs> I'm more worried about the horse that seems to simultaneously exist and not exist. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. 
That, there was so much vapor cloud around my head, I, I don't even know where I am anymore. Vapor Snake is just, he's just gonna go. <laughs> go find yourself. Yeah. You know, who knows what's out in Afghanistan? It's a big place. So, we'll, we'll catch up with him later. <laughs> Back to Big Boss, who is also looking at the base. Uh, but the sun's already starting to set. Uh-huh. Uh, so, with soldiers, you know, th there's a time of day that's always changing. Uh, soldiers actually have shifts. Oh. They will actually, yeah, s soldiers actually need to sleep. Um, so there are other soldiers taking naps, and when certain times of day come around, you know, they will sh change shifts. Mm -hmm. antenna. There could be intel files of some kind in there. Yeah, from this angle, you can see a lot more uh, soldiers than, than Venom could. That was actually a bad way to go in. <laughs> yeah, but Venom made it. He's fine. He, he's fine. Um, so there's also a couple other things of interest here. There's this... These things are very easy to miss. So we're going to go to that first. Sure, sure. It goes without saying that darkness is good for infiltration. But your vision will be affected just the same. Keep your guard up, or who knows when you'll bump into an enemy. Now that it's nighttime, the, the vision of soldiers is shorter. Mm -hmm. They can't see as far. Um, they have ways to counteract that. Guards at nighttime are carrying flashlights, so if they get curious about something, they can shine their light on you, oh. and then they can see a lot farther. There's a lot of really cool Back stuff they do with the AI in this game. Plant. Bring it back to base. It's sure to be useful sometime. How many medicinal plants are out here? There's like 10 different types, and they all end up doing different stuff. You have arrived at your destination. Also, I like that the eye droid talks to you. <laughs> um, so also the eye droid is voiced by Donna Burke. She is the lady who who sings the song for this game and several of the other Metal Gear themes. Mm -hmm. Now Donna Burke, not Delta Burke, right? Right. Um, so this is actually a delivery point. Every like large base has one of these, and if you pick up a, a delivery invoice for it, you unlock that as a fast travel point. <laughs> oh, hey! Uh, although we can't actually use it yet, we actually need another item to be able to use them, but we'll get it pretty soon. Um, it's the cardboard box. <laughs> you, Naturally. You, at, as in other Metal Gear games, you have people pick you up in the box and deliver you in a truck. And they never see it coming. <laughs> they never see it coming. I mean, some people have actually escaped from prison doing just that, apparently, so... It's a good trick. If I'm ever in jail, I'm gonna hide in a cardboard box. <laughs> Where are we supposed to take this? I don't know. Who ordered a lot of the orange? I don't... Hmm. The orange, huh? What's a zone of the enders, and where are we supposed to take it? <laughs> ah, just take it to wherever is the most convenient place. And also the dive is really good for, for sneaking, because they don't really hear you diving, mm -hmm. even though it sounds kind of loud. Um, but it's like, if there's a little gap where you're not sure if you could crawl across without being seen, diving usually is better for that. Right. It's like, they'll still see something, but it'll just be like, what was that blur, instead of, who's that crawling man? Uh, so yeah, this time, we, we spotted the antenna on the biggest building here, so we're just gonna hop over some walls, get into it. This building also has, uh, one of a couple, like, actual collectibles that aren't just resources. Um, you might be able to hear it a little bit. Ooh. So lots of places have stereos or radios playing music. Ha ha ha. And you can pull the cassette tape out of it and add it to your Walkman. And then you can just listen to that whenever. Now, boss, I'm uh, not much of a new wave man myself, <laughs> but uh, if you want to take that back to the base, I won't stop you. 
I don't know what this dubstep stuff is all about, but it seems the Patriots have suppressed that it exists. <laughs> it seems they're not planning for it to be a thing until at least 2012. So yeah, you, the, the Soviets are, will talk to each other and have conversations, but you can't understand them. But, uh, you know, it's mentioned that you can get soldiers that have that skill to interpret for you. If you replay this mission and come back to it, you can actually understand what they're talking about. Oh! It's pretty cool. Hey, that's... Uh, so, lots of bases uh, have some type of intel file that you can scan mm -hmm. to get info. That one will tell us where Miller is. Um, you should probably sometimes get it, it just, then. yeah. Some of them just tell you where like random cool stuff is at. Um, but while we grab that, what's Venom doing? Still chilling out. That's the Soviet Army's Watson barracks. Heavier enemy presence than back at ILO Village. Be careful. Where so are you? A... Oh, you've got like GPS on you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so there's, uh, several other bases in this mission that you don't even need to go to, uh, <laughs> but they're there. Uh, if we take a look at the, uh, map, we're way over here. <laughs> and yeah, this guy, this is the place where he needs to deliver supplies to, but he always stops here to take a smoke break. Mm -hmm. Um... But you can see there, there's a whole bunch of extra mission tasks. They're just question marks. There's a whole bunch of optional objectives. Some of them you can't even do the first time you play a mission. Uh. Um, this base actually has, like, two objectives that you can do on a replay, which is why you would actually want to come here. And yeah, it also tells you a whole bunch of other stuff, like skills and blueprints you can get, which we don't even have Fulton Balloons yet, so there's another <laughs> reason why to replay them. One thing at a time. Yeah, there, there's a ton of stuff, but, you know, that guy takes smoke break. We'll just keep on keeping on in this truck. It's the easiest way to sneak in this mission. You can skip, like, a good three quarters of this. But meanwhile... Vapor Snake. So, we gave Kaz about three days to survive and spent a third of that time <laughs> smoking. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Vapor Snake! This isn't Miller. <laughs> I must become one with the sheep. <laughs> I'm giving up my code name. I am now Vapor Sheep. Vapor Sheep. Because peace is the only way forward. Yeah. I'm a vegetarian now. Mm hmm. I'm more of a sheep pusher. I do like that there is some type of reaction program for sheep when you're just shoving them around because they just... They protest. But they do nothing. <laughs> okay. Now, now he's making a go for it. <laughs> Whoa, he dodged that one. Whoa. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well... And, uh, oh. in this playthrough, Kaz dies. Spoiler. Uh... <laughs> Will Vapor Snake ever remember his dear friend? Oh, he'll just keep <laughs> rolling through the Afghan countryside. Find out next time. <laughs>